there, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I'm a little bit late on this bandwagon, but today I'm actually going to be trying the House Labs foundation. This has been so viral on TikTok, I feel like people have been obsessed with it for a minute. So I was like, hey, during the Sephora sale, let me pick it up, let me try it and see how it goes. We're gonna apply it to the face, we're gonna see how much coverage it has, what the texture looks like, and then you know we'll wear it for a couple hours and see how it goes. Without further ado, let's get started. The box has a big wrap around label. I tried opening it from here. Uh, that's not how you open it, it's actually from the back here. And this is what the foundation bottle looks like. It feels so luxurious. It is glass. Well, you can't really hear it because my nails aren't very long, but it is just full glass. It just feels so luxurious. The only instruction is shake well before use. So let's go. I'm applying it just with a damp beauty sponge like I do all of my foundations. I'm not going to cover or conceal anything on my face. I'm just going to go straight in with this just to see what the coverage level looks like. I am just going to start with one pump. So applying this on my face, it does feel quite light. And oh, for my shade, I'm using shade 210 light medium neutral. And so one pump, I am spreading this just on sort of this side of my face. It is looking pretty good so far. I am now using half a pump to go on my forehead. I feel like this might be a smidge dark. I don't know, maybe it's looking okay. So bringing you a little bit closer, I'm not sure how well the texture is going to show up on camera, but uh, the finish overall is pretty good. It's just some of these spots where my skin is a little bit dry from treating my pimples. Uh, it is clinging just a little bit. I love the way it looks just on my cheeks, but I do feel like it's starting already to settle into some of my fine lines. I don't know, let me finish the rest of my makeup and we'll come back. So I kept it super simple, just some contour, concealer, uh, blush, Mascara and lip gloss, okay? The concealer, the contour, and the blush that I used all blended pretty beautifully. I used all sort of cream or liquid formulas. I didn't use any powders. It's just these lines right here is just making me a little bit nervous, but we're gonna check in, okay? Let's check in a little bit later. Welcome back. It has been about six hours, a little bit over six hours since I have finished my makeup and I didn't really do anything today. Like I just kind of stayed in. I wasn't sweaty or anything like that. I also forgot to mention that I am kind of combo skin. I do have some dry patches. I have some normal skin on my cheeks and then I do get kind of oily in my T-zone sometimes. I really don't know what to say because I think it looks okay, but it doesn't look fantastic. I feel like on the spots on my face where I like don't have wrinkles or creases when I'm moving my face, when I'm talking, like my cheeks, like that still looks so good. But then like where I have some dry patches and also just like where my face naturally creases or wrinkles, especially as I make different facial expressions, um, I am seeing some creasing and just like the foundation is kind of collecting in the creases and it's it feels like it's gonna start to separate pretty soon. And then like just, I don't know, just on the chin, it's just gathering a little bit of texture. It honestly isn't bad and unless you are really this close you can't really tell so like if you are a foot and a half two feet away from me it does still look pretty good I just think $45 is a lot to pay for something that I am not absolutely in love with I think you will have better luck if you have uh, either oily skin or like your moisturizer is just really good for your skin and you're able to avoid that dry patchiness I just makes my heart hurt a little bit you know I love you Lady Gaga but I just I don't know I don't know See, it still looks pretty good from like this far away. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this little try on video. I know I'm just like kind of very lukewarm about it, but that's the truth and that's what I'm sticking with. As always, thank you so much for watching and let me know if there's anything else you want me to review or try for you. And I will see you next time. Bye.